What's up everyone, Luxide here again on the Clear Crypto's YouTube channel. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. Turns out October has actually been the biggest month for crypto hacks in 2022. So I kind of want to tell you guys what's been going on, what the new nature of hacks, exploits, stuff like that are looking like. Now, before I go ahead and dive into this, if you haven't already, make sure you show your support for the channel, hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the little bell too. That way you'll stay notified anytime there's new content live here on the channel. And as you know, we do produce daily content here for the channel. So this month alone, there's been about $718 million that has been lost to crypto hacks. The total that has been done here in October so far actually ended up surpassing March, which March was a huge, huge month for hacks earlier this year. Now, the nature of hacks has, has changed over time, okay? So you can kind of see a little graph breakdown here, what has happened by year, where we're currently sitting at here. Now, back in 2019, it does say that centralized exchanges were the most vulnerable to hacks. So that'd be some of your big ones like your, you know, Coinbase, Binance, stuff like that. But even still, it's not at necessarily at the scale that it was now. And not to say that those were specific changes or exchanges that were targeted, okay? Now... Decentralized finance is the one that is being targeted <clears throat> and where we're seeing the biggest loss of funds actually is bridges. Okay. Bridges. If you're not familiar, that's what allows you to move, um, you know, tokens from one blockchain to another and use them on that chain. Okay. So this month alone, there was three bridges that were breached. Okay. And it, it estimated, um, well, it came out to be about $600 million that was, you know, done this month. And that number there alone, that $600 million accounted for about 64% of the total losses for this year. So again, <clears throat> not a small number. So this is obviously important, you know, clear cryptos here, we're all about security. Okay. And, you know, making sure that obviously you take care of your, you know, coins, money. Yeah. Obviously if you're putting money in, you want to make sure that it's, it's safe and protected. Some things like these, like these exploits that happen with bridges, <clears throat> unfortunately, you know, there, there are ones that um, aren't necessarily tested as well. So you obviously need to make sure you do your research. If you are moving coins from one chain to another, a lot of times this isn't even necessary to do. Okay. So unless you have a bridge that you trust a hundred percent, just don't use it. Okay. That's, that's the easiest way. You know, there's some complex stuff that can be done with, with bridging coins from one chain to another, but for the most part, again, you don't necessarily need to do it. Okay. That's why there's, you know, centralized exchanges. I'm a huge believer in, um, you know, not your, not your, um, not your seed phrase, not your coins. Okay. Not, you know, I'm, I'm all about DeFi and keeping my, uh, keeping my wallet, you know, separate from exchanges. Okay. That's kind of one of the safest way that's been shown to keep your funds safe. But just be aware that these things are obviously still around Their Hackers are finding new ways to do things. But <clears throat> at the same time, this isn't a doom and gloom video. Okay. That's not what this is about. So what is kind of nice is that over time, technology has developed to a point where most things in crypto are safe. Okay. Unless you're being, you know, an absolute bonehead for the most part, you're going to be safe. Okay. As long as you, you know, keep your, your seed phrase um, with your wallet safe. Um, if you're not giving out passwords, if you're not, you know, connecting to, um, you know, sites that you don't know, connecting your wallet to the sites, you'll probably be fine. Okay. <laughs> this is some of the easiest ways to avoid these sorts of things happening. And again, if you don't trust bridges, because obviously that's one of the biggest things going on this year, just don't use them. Okay. Now, as always, I appreciate you guys stopping out and checking out the video. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead show your support for the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell. Stay updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Take care, guys.